expressions, and equations. Students represent collections of equivalent ratios as equations and use and make connections between tables, graphs, and linear equations that represent the same relationships. Unit vocabulary. Associative property, base, coefficient, commutative property, distributive property, exponent, solution, solution to equation, solving, substitution, and variable. Using tape diagrams. Which equation matches the tape diagram? For diagram A, x plus x plus x equals 21, 3 times x equals 21, x equals 21 divided by 3, x equals 1 third times 21. For diagram B, y plus 3 equals 21, y equals 21 minus 3, 3 equals 21 minus y. All choices for diagram A are correct. All choices for diagram B are correct. Notice that in diagram A, the number 3 is not seen. The 3 comes from counting 3 boxes representing 3 equal parts in 21. We can use the diagram or any of the equations to reason that the value of x is 7. In diagram B, we can use the diagram or any of the equations to reason that the value of y is 18. This is a balance hanger for balancing equations. A hanger stays balanced when the weight on both sides are equal. We can change the weights and the hanger will stay balanced as long as both sides are changed in the same way. For example, adding two pounds to each side of a balanced hanger will keep it balanced. Removing half of the weight from each side will also keep it balanced. An equation can be compared to a balanced hanger. We can change the equation, but for a true equation to remain true, the same thing must be done to both sides of the equal sign. If we add or subtract the same number on each side or multiply and divide each side by the same number, the new equation will still be true. How can we balance this equation? 2x plus 3 equals 15. What if we took the same amount from each side? What if we broke that what was left in two pieces. What we have left is what x equals. x equals 6. Here we see that if we put a 6 in for each of the x's, we would have 6 plus 6 plus 3, which would equal 15. Order of operations is used in this unit as well also known as PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. A few rules to remember when doing order of operations. Always start in parentheses, always. Second, solve any exponents. Next, multiplication or division. Do whichever comes first, left to right in the equation. Finally, addition and subtraction. Do whichever comes first, left to right in the equation. The distributive property allows us to remove the parentheses by bringing multiplication from outside to inside of parentheses. The distributive property does not change the sign of any of the equation. It also works in reverse. Finding the common factor out to the outside of the parentheses, creating an equivalent equation. Exponents. When we write an expression like 2 to the nth power, we call the n the exponent. If n is a positive whole number, it tells how many factors of 2 we should multiply to find n the value of the expression. For example, 2 to the first power equals 2, and 2 to the fifth power equals 2 times 2 times 2 
times 2 times 2. This is not the same as 2 times 5. It is 2 being multiplied 5 different times. There are different ways to say this. We can say 2 raised to the power of 5 or 2 to the 5th power or just 2 to the 5th. Below you see an exponent of 3 and a base of 8, meaning 8 to the 3rd power. Also can be represented as 8 times 8 times 8.